Hello, welcome to a new week. Um, it's obviously Monday today, um, and the time is just gone half past two. Um, I think, as I mentioned on Friday briefly, I had a job booked in not far from myself, which is Northwich to Luton um, for a printing company going to pure a pure gym. So just a paraphernalia and stuff to put up, I presume, because there's some workers there. So. That was just a few boxes, dropped that off, no problem. And I'd bid on a job just before I got there um, from Dunstable to Willenhall, which is where I am now. Um, it actually worked out about one and a half mile away from where I was, so that was pretty good. So no dead miles for them between them jobs. Um, so I've been here for about 20 minutes. Um, I'm not really a million miles from home, really. So if I went home now, it wouldn't be a disaster at all. Um, but, you know, we've got, a, we've got a couple of hours left, maybe, just to get something a bit more north. Um, probably looking just over 170 today. So it's not a, not a bad start, not a bad start for the week. Um, so I'll just have to see what happens. Um, I think fuel price, uh, I think, actually, when I put the screenshot in in last week's video um it did show because i think i got the text through for i think it's 102.65 which is going up again i think it seems to go across the board it's going up if anyone else can let me know their fuel prices just down there in the comments um and see how far off they are because we could get a phone call soon because it's getting quite high i know we've got good payment terms 30 day payment which is good for me but you know the fuel price is going up and up and you're only touching what petrol stations are at the moment so that's not brilliant so uh we'll leave it there see how the rest of the day pans out um if i get anything else i'll be back if not we'll just get ready for tuesday see you later Welcome to Tuesday, and now it is Tuesday evening. Um, yeah, it's been a busy one. Um, so, uh, as you see from the montage before, that's something a little bit different. So, let me know if you like that. <laughs> and that was my first job this morning, um, going from Northwich to Hyde, uh, just some pumps, valves, um, and when I got to Hyde, I was picking up something, I was dropping something off and then picking something up to go to uh, Runcorn. So yeah, that was pretty straightforward. Um, and just after that, it was about an hour and a half or maybe more, just Runcorn, bits and bobs coming up. It was just really, really um, a bit nitty gritty with the jobs coming up. It's like phew, going to areas where you might not get something else. So uh, eventually got one from uh, just another small job. Um, it was Chester to Berry. Um, and that was just um, them little crates. Not as easy again, pick up, drop off, very straightforward. So, we're in Berry, um, probably in, on just over £100, just I think, for the day. Um, we got to about the quarter to three, ten to three. Job comes to Edinburgh from Stockport, which is about 15 minutes away ish. So, jumped on that, and we got it. And that's where we are now. We're in Edinburgh. Um, so that was literally a box to um, a Tachi, one of the, the one of the tra train depots up here. So 
yeah, that was that's it. And then we're in the Premier Inn hub by Premier Inn, just the smaller rooms, it's very very reasonable for the night. So happy that. And even the better news is that we have got a job down south tomorrow. Going to Oakham in Leicestershire. Um, it's an area we've been to before and I think it's pretty good as well. I've got a couple of jobs out there in the past. Um, obviously to get out of Scotland, um, got to go a bit lower. And I think working out at the end, it actually was only about, got it about 63 pence a mile-ish coming back. So that isn't too bad. I'm going to have to go to the, the dreaded 50p a mile to get out to get out of Scotland. So it's an early ish start tomorrow it's about 15 mile away this pickup and then drive down to Oakham in Leicestershire which would be a good five and a half hours I think but we should be there just after lunch so that gives the opportunity to get something just about north to get near home then that would be that would run off a brilliant couple of days really um, I think today we're just over 275 again this minus cost and stuff it's not, it's not into great detail it's just what I've uh, taken for the day so, yeah, we'll go from there. Time to get some kip, get up early, go and locate the, the van, which I've parked about 15 minutes away, walk, so I have to go and find that in the morning. Because <laughs> um, right in the middle of Edinburgh here, on the Royal Mile. Unfortunately, we'll be able to get any shots of Edinburgh because we're here about half seven tonight. And time I got here and et cetera, we got tea and settled. I wasn't going out again. And it'll be too early really to capture anything of Edinburgh, which is a bit unfortunate because it's a lovely place, which I've been a couple of times. Um, but I do like a trip to Scotland. I think only once that I've not got anything back, and that was because it was Aberdeen. Um, so Edinburgh, Glasgow have been pretty, pretty good. We're getting something back. So again, it's me risk and reward strategy. <laughs> Go high and come back south, or vice versa. Um, especially later in the day, sometimes, like I said, if I've got like just over 100 in the bank, if I can get a long distance there, it makes the Makes it good money for the day. Um, I did actually been a bit to um, Norwich doing a COVID test, but no, nope, no bite from that. So we got up to here. Um, quite interestingly, actually, on before we go, is on the way to the uh, pick up the shipper. Rang and goes, yeah, you're doing the job. I was on the way to it. You're doing the pick up from uh, Stockport to uh, Edinburgh. I was like, yeah, yeah. He goes, oh, you wouldn't fancy one to Darlington instead, would you? And I was like, oh, no, no thank you at all. Not a very good area, and I'm obviously much less, the money wouldn't have been as good. Because uh, he goes, oh, I've got one of my regular drivers who's going back that way. So he obviously thought I can get him cheap because he's going there and there. But no, he said no. I said no, I'm all right, I'll stick with him. He goes, oh, yep, no problem. It's yours. I'm not going to cancel it or anything. Just, I was just seeing if you'd mind doing that instead. So. Um, no, <laughs> no, thank you. No, I didn't want to go to Darlington. Uh, much prefer to come up to Edinburgh, and it's paid off. We dropped back down south, so yep. Yeah, sorry, a bit of a long clip this one, but it's been a bit of a long day. Um, so we'll see what Wednesday brings. Um, so I'll see you at some point tomorrow. Wednesday afternoon now and um, just come up to one o'clock so yeah um, long drive today already um, hope you like a nice little video clip before that was um, on the road um, from Edinburgh just to get back on towards the motorway for snap that because it looked absolutely lovely um, so yeah, I was up early, got there just before seven, the collection, it was at a farm, it was just, um, boxes of adhesive, um, first it, all, all the lads turned up, oh, we don't know anything about it, blah, blah, so, and then eventually, the, um, the boss come and said, because the order came in, like, after five, didn't know anything about it, so that was, so eventually, after about 20 minutes, we got that sorted, and then uh, we had to handball it on, it was about 36 boxes, of adhesive and then we're off uh, to Oakham in Leicestershire. Um, steady drive, dropped off about 20 minutes ago, finished out about half 12. So not a bad time to get here and get unloaded. 
so yep that was fine a little bit handballing but you know nothing there got help put it on and two lads helped me when i got there so you can't grumble about that so yep we'll see what comes up now um not me again not you know not the end of the world going home from here but we could have, if i get a nice little small job back towards home then that'll that'll do and that'll be pretty good uh for today so yep we'll leave it there um and it could be next time we speak could be thursday right see you in a bit hello and um, we're still on wednesday uh just gone four o'clock now and we're in pudsey in leeds so um after about five minutes after the last clip we got a job from grantham coming up to here pudsey um straightforward it was there ready when i got there straight on straight off um so that was pretty good that's it that's everyone's favorite one isn't it load and go and press a buzzer and here we go drop it off done so we'll give it till half four then we'll head back so we'll be stuck in any traffic um nearly 255 today after coming back from scotland so so far it's been a good week so let's hope that continues for thursday and friday something interesting has come up and don't ask me why i bid on it and if it's a goer it looks like i'll be getting it um i was gonna do a separate video on longest trips which i still may do I've been to Stornoway on the Isle of Lewis, um, so that was, that's a very long way, <laughs> to say the least. Not as far as this though, this is going to the Shetland Islands. Um, I don't think the shipping needed full details, I rang the ferries and got all the details. Um, it's meant to be going tomorrow, but because there's no ferry back on Friday because it's full, it might be Sunday or Monday. And he just rang about 10 minutes ago and said, do you still do it? If it looks looks a, looks a goer, can you do it if we change that? I said, yeah, I can do it. I've priced it up. <sighs> it's near impossible, especially someone that's quite new. Or even maybe not, even an experienced person would be quite hard to price the job. Um, I'm going to disclose that at this stage. Um, but I think it's a good earner because it's 12, it's 12 hours each way on the ferry, so that's 24 hours um, not working. Uh, so that's been factored into the price and obviously when you come back i think you get the ferry from aberdeen uh, across there so you've got factory in aberdeen pff, coming back from aberdeen getting something back um on there even anything so which is going to be low so that's all been factored into the price so uh, i'll keep you informed and hopefully that could be a lovely little adventure um i think that'll be a separate video if we do that it could be a good good one to do a uh, trip to the shetland Islands, but you know, until they, until they send that confirmation through, make that phone call, um, I'm not holding my breath, but he did ring up, like I said then, and he's said the customer that's a goer, it's just he took the number for the ferry company, the shipper. Um, and he's gonna ring them by the sounds of it and scope, the, scope it out with the prices and stuff and how it can go from there. So um, if there's any update on that job in particular, I'll come back tonight, or if there's another job, I'll come back later on. If not, we'll be on Thursday um, and hopefully be able to update about the Shetland Islands jobs. Um, so, <laughs> see how it goes. Uh, I did price one to Jersey as well. The shipper is really interested in that, but um, the customer didn't really know ferry times and that just never worked out. Um, always like a little adventure. Um, makes the job very interesting sometimes. So, uh, we'll update it as soon as we hear anything back. But that's it for now. Hello, Thursday. Um, quite a busy one. Uh, it's currently nearly quarter to five. Uh, and I'm in Norwich. And it's not COVID test, so that makes a change. Don't go in Norwich and it's not been a COVID test, to be honest. Um, I don't think it's going to be this good of a um, day. I don't know it turned out because it's a bit of a later pickup. Um, I had one pickup in Nantwich, which isn't too far from me and another pickup in nottingham and then it was going near lutterworth it was just do a covid test and um, put in a box outside and that was it 
Um, so yeah, it was a bit different. Not been to that one. It was um, a d yeah different size. I've done COVID tests today, but not to Norwich. Uh, to Lutterworth. So uh, after that, just park around the corner at the local Morrison's in Lutterworth. Um, and a job come up to Norwich from Leicester, but it was only eleven mile away. It was that it, was it was, wasn't obviously wasn't far from where I was. Um, it's just some resin. Um, tubs, big tubs of resin and stuff to industrial park in Norwich. Um, last, as the last 40 minutes been quite stressful. Uh, getting through Norwich, traffic was ridiculous and hitting every red light. It's just one of them, it was just one of them situations, you know, when you get sometimes in town centre, uh, city centres, even, isn't it? Norwich, just a city. Sorry, Beardy, sorry, city, city, not town. Um, so yeah, um, them when I got there, they were nearly leaving because the ship had rang. Goes, what time are you getting there? And I went twenty past four. With all the traffic, and then it was, it was just it was nearly half four, and they were going in five minutes. So that was lucky. <laughs> so that was it. Was all okay. Um, so staying in Norwich because just how the luck luck is riding in the last couple of weeks. Um, on the way down, because I set because I'm staying somewhere, I'll set the gone to the website and set home location as Norwich or wherever I'm staying and jump up eight o'clock pick up um, Norwich to crew and it's a, and it's literally 15 minutes from my house um, I made a decision what I'm doing after I dropped it off but I mean to get that close to home from Norwich is a big win um, and again it didn't go low low again it's just the fact that you're not into the 50 p territory so I think it's just over it's 50, 63 or 64 p no, so it's nearly the, nearly the money nearly on the money but obviously, I wanted the job because, um, as Beardy says, you know it's difficult to get out sometimes of Norwich. Um, but put the note. Sometimes I put the notes if I want to get out. I don't say I'm going to go to Norwich. Price. I said I would appreciate the work. Um, I appreciate the job going back north because obviously you can see where you live. Um, and you know, I put just put a nice messages in the, in the thing, just you know, to see if that helps. And the last couple of times it has. These rang straight away and give it to me, so I was happy. That the only thing is, it's a hospital job. Um, but the pickup seat, the pickup's got a lot of notes. Seems pretty straightforward from Norwich, and then it's going to Main Theatre <laughs> at Leighton Hospital in Crew. So that's that could be really interesting to there. I'm guessing it's going to be quite urgent. Um, so it'll be interesting where to find a drop for that when we get there. Let's go in the reception. Go here you go. <laughs> so I'll update you on that tomorrow. What what it actually was that was delivering. Um, all being well, should be crew and dropped off by 12. So you obviously got the rest of the day, but I'm, you know, knackered. I mean, up to Edinburgh's up early to get back and um, been some long days and a lot of miles this week. So even if it's just a job to crew tomorrow for Norwich, then that's been, you know, a pretty, pretty solid week. I can't grumble and get a, a tidy finishing and see how we see what, see what we can get from there but a minimum charge job on top of that and then that would be it then but we'll assess that when we get to crew um, after we dropped off whatever it is going to the theatre so um, a slight update on the um, Shetland Island job um, so the shipper emailed yesterday and just said it's not going this week um, I've got your details and if it's a goer next week I'll let you know so I'm not sure it's going to be a goer yet so i'm not f n not crossing my fingers to be for years not gonna i don't i can't see it happening i mean i think it's looked at it's probably like three days um but i priced it quite competitively um because it's 24 hours on a ferry there and back so we'll just see what happens but yeah i'd, lo I'd love to do it so we'll just have to see so uh, that's what I thought. Right. So I get myself checked in. Um, there's a craft beer bar that looks good in Norwich. So yeah, I'm into yeah, the, yeah, craft beer. So I mean, if anyone else is into it, just put in the comments there. I think I'm on untapped. Well, I don't think I am. <laughs> um, probably the last 18 months, you're looking at over 700 new beers plus. So it might be something I put up on a Sunday now and again, um, what I've had to the week and thoughts on some of the beers. Um, see if there can be a little crossover and see if people are interested in that. Um, so let me know if you are. Um, I'm going to go to YouTubery now, but if 
uh, people liking what I do wouldn't mind if you could just subscribe that'd be fantastic I mean appreciate you know 80 plus now in a week which is great thanks to Big Beardy and a few others for pumping their numbers up um, but I think 70% people who are watching these videos are not subscribed so come on guys it doesn't take much just to get a, press that little button um, and it does vindicate what I'm doing really you know just I'm not doing it to be the next big YouTube star it's not never never intention but you know it's just nice to have a few subscribers isn't it and interaction and showing what showing the industry and people else are in the industry so if you could I'd really appreciate that so we're gonna get checked in now um, there's a craft beer bar in Norwich that I want to try so I'm gonna get checked in go as I'm in work stuff get a taxi there and have a few beers um, before the job back tomorrow thank you very much Hello and it's Friday, so <clears throat> it's nearly, uh, well no, it's 10 to 3 nearly, um, so yep, so I had that um, job booked in um, from Norwich Hospital, that was really straightforward, um, picked up the box and then wrong way to crew, um, collect, uh, sorry drop off at crew, slightly different story, there was one that I, I know it well because I don't live far from uh, Leighton Hospital and Crew. Um, one of the roads was closed to go round, so everyone was going down the same road. Um, so traffic was bad just down this single track lane. Um, and as I turned in, went into a fort, just going to the main entrance. It said, it said it was for theatres, main theatres, but it's like reception will take it or they'll know where to go. So I got there and it wasn't in that part of the hospital, so I had to come back onto that road and come the other way around and then pull outside this bit again I don't know what give me directions but it's a hospital it's not very straightforward where to be so luckily like one of the members of staff there he was just outside just asked for his help he scanned me all through the doors and went to main theatre's the reception there I think I was meant to go to like a back entrance or a roller door <laughs> to drop it off but uh, luckily this bloke he's helped me out that's that was good um i went straight to the main reception at the main theaters so that was dropped off and then um, on the way down a job popped up um in crew um going to where i know hinkley that's the ship um it's one of the one of the shippers do some regular work for um and it was it, it was actually on the it was it's on the cx it didn't ring me because he probably didn't know where i was um at the time because I was on the way back um, it was 75 pound 75 mile and they've just paid me so for that job usually the 45 days end of month so um, so that was quite good so I've literally just been paid for that job and I'm just in the uh, Morrison's literally next to where I dropped off um, that was that was that was very straightforward just pallets on and off so dropped that off um, just about an hour ago so looking on the day so far, um, probably just over two hundred and ten pounds. So it's been a good Friday. It's been a good week um, overall, which you'll, which you would have seen. Um, so yeah, I'm just going ground bit. Friday has been really busy today. I've done a few people have noticed on the feed. Everywhere I've been, it's been quite busy. So I don't for something slightly more north but again the week it's been if you swallow some dead, some more dead mouths it's not been it's been you know overall it's still going to be coming out as a, coming out as a good week uh, money wise so um what we are three probably going another hour and we'll see how it goes so let's have this up by eight o'clock tonight um and hope you've enjoyed this week um because it's been quite a lot of stuff going on been near the up here Scotland Norwich quite a lot in Leicestershire so yeah it's been busy and um, then for Monday again while I was on that job the that ship the same shipper who did a regular work for they've given me a job Monday uh, it was to, to another pure gym I think I did that last week um, so it's the same collection in Northwich and this one's going to Whitney in, in Oxford near Oxford um, 
so that's just been 115 pound ish going down there so that'd be good we could start to monday um and then hopefully that'll set us up for another good week so if i leave it there thanks everyone for subscribing um thanks everyone for comments likes and everything else it does mean I mean a lot because I see it's like a new, it's a new thing for myself so everything is appreciated so this could be it if there's anything more I know but if not I'll see you next week